In this presentation, what we're going to look at is the domain and range of a set of functions. Now, so essentially, what we're this is the key thing here: domain and range. Now, we're going to start off easy here, uh, just to sort of first off state that the domain is the set of all possible uh, inputs to a function. Okay, all possible inputs and the range is all possible outputs to a function okay now that's the this is a sort of intended to be sort of uh, simple enough stuff uh, just to get us going just get a sort of sense of it now there, you, as you go along you might sort of like sort of uh, get more elaborate uh, or you know the, get uh, acquainted much more elaborate sort of uh, ways of looking at it but I'm going to start off with something simple just as a remark essentially what I'm going to just remark upon here is that I'm dealing with a course that does not go beyond the set of real numbers okay so this is the set of real numbers so there's no complex numbers here so that's going to inform my decision uh, in a lot of cases okay so if you're just looking at this and thinking well you could have said a complex number here that would make sense it would have but I'm not doing complex numbers as part of this I'm only going as far as the set of real numbers alright so let's begin the first one is uh, start off nice and easy uh, f of x equals x minus 2 g of x equals minus 2x so what I'm going to do here is just state the I'm going to look at the first one here because uh, x essentially what we're going to do is try out a positive number and a negative number okay and uh, you could have minus two and two or you could have two and um, a thousand or whatever but anyway f of two is simply zero f of minus two is minus four and essentially what I'm going to get at here is that there seems to be no constraint as to what input I can put in or what output I c will get out of the function here okay so uh, likewise you get the same from g of x minus 2x that no matter what you can put in any value of x there from minus infinity to infinity and get out a value that goes from minus infinity to infinity so in both cases here the domain and I'm going to write it like this is it's the set of all real numbers okay or if you're familiar with this notation because a lot of more of the uh, some courses would sort of use this notation you might have any number between minus infinity and infinity uh, the round bracket there is to signify non-inclusive okay and we always use that if we put beside infinity or minus infinity okay now we have a sort of a counterexample of that shortly but anyway minus infinity to, to infinity okay and the range is also the same it's the all possible real numbers and again minus infinity to infinity okay so that's for both cases there okay so straightforward enough to start off with the next one is a bit trickier now so state the function and uh, the range of all uh, real numbers here so what I'm going to sort of do is this one actually is going to re require a bit more thought so let's look at f of x and I'll have f of 2 and f of minus 2 okay now f of 2 is 2 squared um, minus uh, 4 okay that gives us 0 Okay, 4 minus 4. Okay, let's try it out with a different number. f of 0. Okay. And in this case, we get 0 squared minus 4, which will give us minus 4. Okay. Can we get even a, a, a number that's even lower than that? Let's try minus 1. Okay. So f of minus 1 is... Uh, sorry, this is... I meant to get into something here, but I've just sort of gone... Uh, made my point here already minus 1 squared minus 4 okay now that is equal to 1 minus 4 okay that's equal to minus 3 so just remember earlier on we said that f of 0 is, is gives us minus 4 we actually cannot get an output less than minus 4 for this function okay because no matter what we get no matter what input we put in here we will always get a positive output okay so 
the input here at x squared uh, will give, always give us a number between zero and infinity. Okay, and when we t use that, bring in that minus four, we are, we we can get a number as low as minus four, but again, the upper bound is infinity. Okay. Now, there's no uh, constraint on what types of inputs we can put in, but the outputs will be constrained to minus 4 to infinity. So, what I'm going to sort of state now is the domain is the set of all real numbers, which is minus infinity to infinity, okay? But this is for f now, and the range is a little bit different. It can go as low as minus 4 inclusive, but no lower than that. But and it, it has no upper bound. It can be it can go up to infinity. Okay, so the domain and range here are minus infinity to infinity, and minus four to infinity. Now I'm just going to sort of state again, or state importantly, that this is a square bracket here. That means that's inclusive, so we can include minus four in that set. Okay, so that's important. Now I'm going to do the other one. That's the first one there. I'm going to do the other one now. G of x. Okay, I'll just do it here. Just draw a red line here. Okay. So g of x, let's do it for minus 1 here. Okay. And we'll actually do it for 2 also. So g of x is minus x squared plus 4. So it's actually minus the other one. That's equal to minus f of x. Okay. So if we have g of minus 1, that is equal to, uh, I'll, I'll just actually sort of evaluate it out. Minus 1 times minus 1 squared plus 4. Okay. So that is going to be work out to be uh, minus 1 plus 4 is uh, 4. Okay. Or sorry, uh, minus 1 plus 4 is 3. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is evaluate it for 2. That is minus 2 squared plus 4. So that's minus 4 uh, plus 4, that's equal to 0, so we can get a value of 0. Can we get any positive numbers? Let's evaluate, evaluate it for 0 here. Okay, g of 0 equals 0 squared minus 0 squared plus 4, that would give us an answer of 4. Now essentially what I'm sort of getting at here is that we can't get a value higher than 4. If we were to put in 10 here, we get minus 10 plus uh, 10 squared plus 4 and so on but that would all actually be less the the, the highest we can the, the highest output we can get is 4 and but we can't get a value higher than 4 okay so the range and domain well actually the range is the same sorry the domain is the same but the range here is going to be a little bit different okay the range the domain is going to be minus infinity to infinity but here the domain is minus infinity sorry the range is minus infinity to 4 okay this is for g of x and again just to state categorically that we could put in any real number there as an input so the range the domain is minus infinity to infinity just like it was for f of x okay so moving on to the last one of this set, I am going to do the square root of x and the square root of x minus 2. So here we have f of x equals the square root of x, okay, and g of x equals the square root of x minus 2, okay. So in this example, I look at f of x first. Essentially, what we're dealing with is a real numbers. So x must be positive. Okay. We now just remember I sort of said that there's no complex numbers in this course yet. So x must be positive. Okay. X must be, or actually, x must be greater than or equal to zero correctly because we can have the square root of zero as zero. Okay. So the domain x, the inputs, x must be greater than or equal to zero. Okay. And so essentially that's it. That's the only constraint I'm going to sort of remark upon there. So our domain here is it can include zero, but and we can go above zero, okay? But we can't go below zero, okay? So our domain is uh, zero to infinity, and we have the zero, uh, the beside zero we have that square bracket. Now the range 
is um, well, we're going to get a positive number out of this, okay? So we're going to get a, a number that's uh, well, not a non-negative number. So we have zero, one, two, three, four. We get the square root, okay? If we have an input of ten, we get the square root of ten as our output. So the range is something similar. We will get zero, and we can get zero inclusive, or hence that square bracket, or any number above zero, okay, on the number line. So that's the range, domain, and range for the square root of x. Okay, that's uh, that's f of x there. I'll just like, make a note of that. Now let's do it for g of x. We have something similar here. This. Uh, we're looking at g of x now. This must be positive, okay? So if we input minus, if we input one, let's say we have one minus two, so we get the square root of minus one, which is not allowed, okay? So in this case, to get an output that, or to get a, uh, make sure we have a, 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 a here a number that's at least zero, x must be greater than equal, greater than equal to two. So in this case, the domain. is any number greater than 2. So 2 to infinity. Okay. Now, if we put in 2 here, we get 2 minus 2, and that means we can get an output as low as 0. So the range is something similar to what it was in the last case, 0 to infinity. Okay. We can get a number, uh, we can get 0 as an output of that function, and we can get any number greater than 0. Okay. So for g of x, the domain is 2 to infinity and the range is 0 to infinity. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do um, one more. Uh, no, I won't actually, it's long enough, I'm going to leave it there.